Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today for you I have a little plant haul. So most of these plants are new to me for the first time, but some of them I have grown before, but actually outside. So this will be the first time I've ever kind of wanted to do um, container gardening with them or putting them in pots or anything like that. So I'll just kind of jump into the plants real quick, explain maybe a little bit about uh, nothing crazy. Um, I am, like I said, going to be using their common names today, um, but I will put their scientific names down in the description if you're a little bit more interested in that part. Um, but the first plant I'm going to start out with is going to be this rock foil. So this is a really cool little plant that I had never seen before in Tennessee. So I'm not sure if it's sold there, um, if it's a newer plant that's just kind of hitting greenhouses and nurseries, but when I saw it, I was really excited. So um, it's a really cool little plant in the fact that it almost looks like moss, but then it shoots up these really pretty little flowers. So the great thing about this is that it doesn't get super tall. So I have some ideas with some different types of containers I want to try with it um, before I just kind of stick it into a regular pot like it's in now. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I don't know if I just never noticed it before and I walk by it every time, um, but I'm really excited about it now because it just puts out so many flowers in every day. So it's something that's really pretty that I'm really enjoying so far. The next plant that I have is actually this Firetail Chanel plant. So this is a tropical plant. Um, it's definitely gonna be a house plant. Um, it would not survive over winter. So it's not something I'm gonna be able to put on my balcony um, when it starts getting chilly outside. But what really caught my eye, of course, is the flowering. So the flower is basically a fuzzy pink little cattail. It's super soft. It's really cool to look at and feel. Um, at the nursery, they had a bunch of these in huge baskets. Um, I decided to get a smaller one just because how big the other ones were. I really didn't know I was going to be able to do with them at my house. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is maybe use some smaller containers um, and have this hanging in the window. It's definitely gonna be a plant that I'm gonna to have to pay attention to. Um, it's gonna be apparently really fast growing. It's a very vigorous grower. It's gonna suck up a lot of moisture. So it's gonna be a plant that I'm gonna to have to baby a little bit. So I'm gonna to have to watch out for that. Um, but I'm really excited. It definitely already has some new flowering stalks coming up. Um, but it, like I said, it's gonna be a plant that I'm gonna to have to either train or prune heavily or something like that. Because from what I've read, it's one that can get really out of control really fast. The next plant that I have is one that I have had before. This is a Japanese painted fern. Um, you don't see a lot of these for sale as house plants, of course. Um, I have this outside in the landscape. This one is really small still, so the leaves aren't really showing um, how beautiful these plants really get. Um, the ones I had back home were pretty big. They overwintered, um, came back the next spring, were massive. Um, you can probably tell though still that they're non bright green as like you think about a normal fern. Um, they're also quite a bit more dainty looking. So when these plants do start getting bigger, they really develop this beautiful like silvery gray green coloration along the fronds, um, which is just really beautiful. So I'm hoping that maybe I can kind of get this plant trained for it in the house and still get that really beautiful coloration. Um, outside it's considered a shade plant. So probably what that means inside is maybe medium light. So maybe something I get to put directly in the window still. Maybe not. I'm going to test it in a few different spots to kind of see how it is. Um, but this is a plant I really love back home and I had quite a few of them outside. So I'm really excited about trying this as a house plant here in Kansas. The next one that I have is an actual house plant. Um, it's the only one that's a real house plant, um, in my opinion. Um, but this is going to be a ribbon fern. So this is a plant that I have not had before. Um, you can kind of tell this one's a little wonky looking. It was only $5, so I'm not too upset about it. Um, but a lot of the foliage is down here in the pot, and then it's been growing a few of these really long things, um, long fronds the past few days. Um, but what I really liked about it was the coloration and the texture. Um, the fronds kind of feel almost like a butter knife on the side, so it's definitely a plant that I've enjoyed kind of just walking by when I've been watering and kind of like rubbing the edges. This has got a really nice texture to it. It's also just really thick and hardy looking. So, like I said, it's just one of those plants I definitely bought on a whim. I don't have any fun plans or fun ideas to go along with this plant, um, besides just growing it and seeing how it goes. But it was just a really fun one I definitely want to pick up. And like I said, this is one I haven't had before. Um, and when, after I grabbed that Japanese painted fern, I was like, you know what, I want another fern. Because truthfully, I really enjoy ferns a lot. Um, but I've been kind of struggling with putting them on my balcony outside because it's so windy I'm afraid they'll just get blown off or destroyed or be ugly. So I'm going to try some inside. 
The next plant that I have is going to be this Burgundy Glow Ajuga, if I'm saying that right. Um, this is a plant I have had before, but I used it as a ground cover back home. Um, the reason I enjoy this plant so much is kind of like the English Ivy where it has that really soft green um, cream variegation. This one goes a little bit more and has a lot of this beautiful purple texture to it. So back home and pretty much bright sun, part sun, it gets a lot of this purple. Um, it grows really fast too. So you can kind of see it's vining down a little bit. Um, it's not a vining plant, it's just spreading. Um, but in this case it is technically like vining. Um, it's not going to climb anything crazy like that. And there are quite a few varieties. This is the one I enjoy the most because some of the other ones are either just really kind of basic green or get so dark um, purple that uh, it doesn't stand out as much. But this is a plant I really love back home and I'm really excited about kind of trying it as either a house plant. We're going to see if it keeps this bright purple inside, but I'm afraid it's not going to. Um, so I may just have it as a balcony plant. I do believe it will over winter outside in a container here in Kansas, but if not, I can bring it inside and put it in like the laundry room or something to kind of go dormant or something like that. But yeah, definitely another plant I love from back home that I'm excited about trying here. And so the last plant that I do have is actually really common, nothing crazy exciting, um, but there is something a little bit different about this one. Um, so it is a calla lily. So calla lilies are plants I have had before, but not very successfully, unfortunately. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. Um, this one is, of course, this really pretty orangish red color. Um, apparently they're not super popular in Kansas um, because they're house plants here. I was kind of surprised by that because even in Tennessee, they're not really plants that you keep outside all the time. Um, you definitely a lot of times have to dig them up and put them like in your garage or something like that to make sure they don't die over winter. Um, but when I, they told me at the greenhouse in the nursery that they just don't really do them here, I was really surprised that I found any of them after that. Um, but what's really cool about this one is it does have kind of a mutation. So you can kind of see the regular leaves have this really pretty speckly variegation. Um, that's one of my favorite types of calla lilies um, is the ones that have this variegation. Of course, the solid green leaves are really pretty too, but I love the speckled, almost like starry pattern on these. But what's really cool about this plant is it's definitely mutated. So this is something that it might keep doing, might not, but it has this beautiful red uh, pattern kind of developing the leaves. And it's got about three of those that are doing that. So I'm hoping it'll keep doing it. Um, definitely what this is, is it was supposed to be original calla lily flower heads, but something happened. Either it was getting too much sun, not enough sun, it wasn't being watered correctly. Something happened to make this plant kind of express this mutation. Um, but what I'm ha hoping is, since the plant already started expressing it, that I'll keep expressing it. Now, it may not, and every leaf after this may be really normal, um, which would be fine, so I really enjoy calla lilies. But I'm really excited about this one in particular, um, just because of how unique it is. Um, I've looked through all the other ones, None of the other calla lilies had this same kind of pattern in them. So like I said, I'm believing it's just a mutation for this specific plant. Uh, but I am really excited about it and I have some fun ideas to kind of do with this one too. Yeah, so that's really all the plants I did get. Like I said, just a small little plant haul, nothing crazy. Um, I am going to do a lot of different containers with these. Some of them are going to be hanging from um, the ceiling or in front of the window. I'm going to do some fun stuff, hopefully with the rock foil, maybe the burgundy glow plant that I kind of showed you that I do if I'm like, I'm not saying that right. I know I'm not. Um, but I do have some fun ideas to do with these plants. Um, so if you kind of like this video, uh, make sure you like, if you want to subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram. I have pictures there. Um, it's not all plants all the time. So just know that before you kind of get in there. Gotcha. Well, y'all have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.